Hi, uh, Philippe. Uh, this video is for you. Um, I'm just going to show you how to uh, set up scenes to um, jump from one another, uh, even when you store it in the memory. Um, so I've gone ahead and made um, three different scenes that have a pen and tilt effect. I've just got one selected to show you, otherwise it doesn't show the pen and tilt, but um, you know, each each one of these is a different color, but it's the same effect. And then I've got a stop scene. Could be blackout, could be whatever. Um, this scene, you're gonna wanna put a fade on it, that way maybe they fade in and fade out, whatever. And then for the stop scene, you want to leave always loop and all the stuff default, leave that the way it is. But for the, the scenes with the moving heads, um, you want to use, so normally the stuff is all checked right here. You want to uncheck always loop and uncheck uh, release at end. Then you want to set up jump to. In which case, I'm on scene one, I want to jump to scene two, and then, you know, again on scene two, I want to jump to scene three, and so on and so forth. And if you want them to loop, you want to go from three to, to one, and stuff like that. So, but the, the tricky part for you is, since you need uh, minutes worth of, of looping, you need to figure out how long your scene is when it loops. It's a, it's a five second loop, I believe. It's still playing. Okay, turn that off. Back to edit. So it should be, it's about a five second loop. So you want this to loop for quite a few number of times. Uh, you're going to have to figure out the math on that. Uh, so, I mean, you can do loops all the way up to, you know, like a hundred something or whatever. You can also make the scenes a little bit slower than what I did. That way they're, they're a little bit longer and more drawn out. But you should be able to loop all the way up to 200 in the hundreds of loops. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this purpose just because it would take forever to show it. So I'm just going to do uh, 10 loops. And then jump to, you know, scene two. I'm just going to go and change these to uh, 10. And if you want a little fade in between, turn turn the fade on. Uh, give, it, give it about a second. It should cross fade in between scenes, but that's up to you. So, uh, I'll do 10. And so what we can do is, I mean, this this is exactly how it plays back on on your controller. As soon as you hit this one, um, you know, it's going to play 10 loops. And maybe I should have used, kept it at six for the demonstration purposes, but, but that's fine. So I'll let this go to the second one, then I'm going to stop it. And you'll see the, the colors change and whatnot. These are just the generic moving heads with generic programming. It's they're in a circle, the color changes, all that. So um, you know this will. Then if you hit your stop scene, you know they'll fade out, or to, or whatever you set your stop scene to, and then it's gonna. Then you can release it, and they'll go back. So all that programming, making it cohesive, that's up to you. Um, so the best, the the way to get these stored is in each, go to each scene 
and you want to uh, port map it and you're going to want to select your Minimix 3 port 1 click OK go to here port map Minimix 3 port 2 it tells you you know that port 1 is already in use type deal 2 port 3 And then this one, port four, or whatever you want to make it. You know, you can basically store up to 16 different looks, maybe more. Uh, so it's assigning these addresses and stuff like that. So, but yeah. And so that's how you set these up. Now you have to go to tools and uh, standalone. And these scenes are already already in there because I was testing this. And you want to just drag and drop. Um, if you sh if you have a scene that's, that's literally empty, like how my last scene looks, you have to have some values on. You can't just have an, an empty scene. Uh, I'll show you in a second. So basically what I want to do is uh, after I set this up here uh, Just go to write and it's right in the memory memory written successfully click OK uh, But what I was talking about for the empty scene is you have to have at least something on In order for it to write if everything is off as if it were a new scene like this It will not write it would say cannot add empty something or whatever all right so now if I were to uh, put my device in standalone mode and I'm not I'm not gonna be able to show you on video or anything but you know, I can verify that my my little counter on the box is you know is that one and then it'll go to two on its own and then three on its own then back to one and so on and so forth and that's basically how you do that uh, I hope this helps it's kind of I try to make it short but informative but this should be this uh, uh, you know this this is the way if you're a Mandalorian fan <laughs> all right uh, any questions let me know Thank you.